transformative woman is to be a woman who loves freedom and wants personal freedom for ourselves and for other people. Well, it means that you want to keep your own money that you earn, that you think people should pay for their own decisions, and that you want to be an individual with your freedom. Being a conservative woman is being strong and convicted on the issues, whether we're talking about uh, fiscal responsibility, we're talking about jobs, the economy, life. I think it means that we acknowledge that not all women agree on all things, just like not all men agree on all things. So I happen to be a pro-life woman, there are many women like me, but there are many women who aren't like me, and we respect those differences. The war on women is a fabrication of the democratic political class, the consultants, who want to try to make women believe, particularly young women, that somehow they don't need men, they just need the government. They don't need a husband, they don't need a father, they just need... Um, the government. We've reduced women to birth control, to hormone drugs in the political discussion, but we should instead be talking about real world solutions to truly empower women. No, there's no war on women, but we have very different ideas in some cases about what allows people, men and women, to achieve their full potential and live the life they choose. Another person that impressed me that I met recently is Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. I like her a lot, and I think she's one of these quiet, I don't, I don't know if she's ready to run for president, but I like her guts. I really think Susanna Martinez is very qualified to make a run at it, uh, governor of New Mexico, but she said that she's not interested in running. So unfortunately, no, Nikki Haley is another really great governor. Um, so we'll see. The, the women feel Rebecca Clayfish, uh, Lieutenant Governor of Wisconsin, she's fantastic. Pam Bondi, I think, is great. But in terms of 2016 and t women that would stand out, I would, I would look at uh, Nikki Haley and Kelly Ayotte. I think our women's bench it's probably more 2020. You know, we have some AG women, we have some governors, um, but I don't think we're, I think that we need to 2020. Well, let's see how Nikki Haley does. Mary Fallon from Oklahoma. Um, those are two. They're Pam Bondi, who's the Attorney General of Florida. Susanna Martinez from New Mexico. We have some great women. Um, I think they need a little more time in office.